So um, my name is Victor Orlando. I'm a machine learning engineer at Equinox, which is a small AI and data uh, consulting company in Paris, in France. And today we are going to talk about um, unit testing SQL queries with a tool called SQL, um, SQL Test Kit. But first, let's um, imagine a situation. Like let's, let's imagine you're a data analyst. Maybe there are no data analysts here, but you're a data analyst at a big retail company. And so what is your job? Your job is to answer questions. There are a lot of people that are coming to you every day asking questions. How, uh, we, uh, how are our sales? Uh, why did our sales go down last week? Um, how did this uh, campaign, marketing campaign work? And you have to answer them. So in order to do that, you're building, building dashboards, you're building reports, analyzing data, and answering these questions. To do that, most data analysts, like uh, also data scientists, they use tools. Nowadays, we are, most uh, companies are in the cloud, so yeah, they use tools from the cloud provider. Like uh, in GCP, they use BigQuery, they can use uh, Amazon Redshift or Amazon Athena, they can use Snowflake. It's what's called uh, OLAP tools, uh, online analytical processing tools. And it's different from OLTP tools, which would, you would be using if you have a database and when people they buy some stuff, you have to uh, register they bought some stuff or give them back the, the price of the stuff, etc. Et it's a different kind of database. All app database, they used to do analytics. And that's the main focus of my talk. Um, so let's take BigQuery. BigQuery looks like that. So you have an interface uh, in a web app like that. And you can write some code, some SQL code, execute it, and see the results. And that's why you can easily analyze your data. You can save query to be able to run them again uh, later. And uh, that's what a lot of data analyst, analysts do. So in fact, if we use our terminology as developers, they are uh, coding in their production environment. They're writing code directly uh, in their, their production database. Um, that's what they do. And we know it can be a problem. Why can it be a problem? Because, well, I know a lot of companies where deciders, CEOs, stuff like that, they, for years, they have building, building taking decisions based on false data because there are bugs in data analysts' code. There are really often a lot of bugs. And so this bug makes a uh, um, the, the, the results of the analysis wrong, and so people, they can take decisions based on wrong data. And when they figure out that uh, something is wrong, is well, they have to analyze the code to try to find where the bug is, and it's kind of difficult because they have a long SQL queries, a lot of them, and try to, trying to find bugs in that kind of code without any tests, well, it's difficult. So what do we do as developers? When, to avoid this kind of problem, we write tests, such as unit tests, in our development environment, on our computer. So I wanted to do the same. Like, uh, I'm a data scientist. I have, such, I have to use BigQuery, and I want to test my SQL code. So I've been trying to find some tool to do that. I look on the web. I find in-memory da database, like H2. But the problem is that H2, it works with some uh, SQL dialects, but not, not with BigQuery, not with Amazon Redshift, not with uh, Snowflake, nothing. There are containers, like test containers, which normally they, they are used to uh, simulate uh, the behavior of, of uh, cloud provider stuff. And so there, there is a test container for GCP, but uh, there are a lot of uh, services available, but not, uh, not BigQuery and there's nothing for Snowflake or Asena too. Finally, I, I found somebody who 
build this tool, which is con called TinyQuery, to be able to interpret the um, SQL dialect from BigQuery on his computer. Because normally it should be BigQuery. It should be GCP, which should do that. But uh, GP GCP doesn't do that. So there is TinyQuery, but in fact, uh, as there is one guy writing it for, him, for himself, there are a lot of uh, BigQuery, a lot of big dialects, a lot of uh, stuff in BigQuery, and so he couldn't um, develop uh, all the stuff available in BigQuery. So if you use TinyQuery, well, you uh, you will not be able to test all your SQL queries because there are a lot of stuff uh, which are not implemented. So what would we do? In fact, the only way nowadays to test some uh, BigQuery SQL queries, it's on BigQuery. So you have to run them on BigQuery. But in the same time, you, are, you would like to have some tests which you can launch from your computer to check quickly if your code is good or not. So in fact, we have to do that. We have to be able to write tests on your computer, and this test should be able to check that our queries are good on BigQuery because it's the uh, only way. So for that, uh, we wrote some uh, program which is called uh, SQL Deskist, and I will show you how it works. So it's Python because I mean most data analysts, most data scientists, even data engineers nowadays, they use Python as a programming language. So it's uh, good for the users. So th let's say you have a, a SQL query like that. We don't use um, ORM. So um, for SQL test kit to work, you need to um, tell him about your tables. So you need to build an object like this, the query table, to tell him uh, the, um, the location of the table and its structure, its schema. If you have that, you can then build your test. So your test, it, will, it will, can look like that. So in fact, when you're building tests, it's always good then that what you're testing, your, the inputs of your test, what I put in the given part here, are inside your test. You can easily check what are the condition on which you are testing your data. And so here we, I give the um, contents of a table on which I want to test my query. Um, and then, and I will detail this part later, I do this interpolation, I build this interpolated query stuff with this query interpolator, which is from a SQL test kit. Then I get a query, which I can launch without any more add-on. I didn't build any table, any temporary table on BigQuery. I just launch a query, which use normally a table. And I get some results, and I can compare these results with uh, what I should have, and check if there is any bug. And so, how does it work? Let's um, debug it. So, um, at the beginning, we had uh, a query like that, which we are using this table, uh, COVID-19 open data. And, uh, yeah. And now I have an interpolated query here, so I can look at it. And what I see, just uh, get back there. What I see is that my uh, form table has been replaced by a big uh, stuff here, which is a select of the data of my test input data. So there is no reference to any table here. So my, um, my test can be quite uh, quick because it doesn't have to um, take data in tables. You don't have to build temporary tables for your test. You, um, on the fly, you interpolate your data inside the query, and the query uh, can run by, t by itself. I'm quite quick. <laughs> So yeah, so as, as I said, it's um, it's uh, in it's in Python. It's used um, what uh, most data scientists, data analysts use. It's called the pandas. It's used to uh, manage a uh, big quantity of data. And uh, yeah, 
and uh, above all, you, you use uh, it use the service your cloud provide, provider service, so BigQuery or Athena or stuff like that. So you're independent if they uh, change stuff, which I do often do. Well, it's not it will not have any impact on your tests. So you're, you're good with that. So what's the good points? The good point is that uh, it can test any uh, select query. I mean, this principle of interpreting the data inside the query, you can do it in uh, any dialect. And uh, yeah. Um, so as I said, you're uh, independent of any change in the cloud provider service. And uh, it's a Python library. So for other Java users and stuff like that, Maybe you think it's a uh, not good thing, but it's uh, what is used by a most uh, potential user of this kind of stuff. Well, there are also drawbacks, of course. So uh, most, the biggest drawback for me is that you need uh, internet access to run the query. So if you're in the train, you don't have internet, you cannot do it. And also, and that's the second point, it makes the test slower than they should be. If when you're writing uh, unit tests, you need to write a lot of them to check any any potential case, and uh, so if the tests are slow, we we'll maybe want to make le less tests, and it's not good. But you have to to it's uh, uh, you have to do that. And uh, well, it's um, still not so not as easy to debug as would be some Python code or some Java code or some Scala code, because it's SQL and it's not done for that. But still, with the test, it's much easier if you build a lot of unit tests to debug if you have a problem and to avoid to have any such problem than uh, it would be without that. And in fact, I'm finished, but uh, now we can take some time to answer any question you would have about this uh, tool or its usage. And uh, in the meantime, when you're thinking about your, your question, well, don't hesitate to check on the code. Uh, it's not this link. Use this link, use the QR code here, and to, to reach me through uh, X, through uh, LinkedIn. Uh, I have a GitHub account, that's all. And of course, we are hiring at Equinox.